Don't you just wish sometimes you could be a tough guy? Joe Queenan does. Joe Queenan's a movie critic and author. He's also tired of being pushed around. Joe Queenan's gonna join the mob. So, you wanna be a gangster? So most guys that wanna be gangsters wanna be gangsters for the respect that brings them. When they walk into the community, people look at them, they talk to them, they become important in their community, they go into a restaurant, they're taken care of, they need tickets to a show, they got connections to get the tickets. It's all about respect being a gangster. I can't. <laughs> Milk for the <laughs> coffee. Hey guys, I'm really sorry. It's nice smoking. Any chance to put the cigarettes out? Sure. Ah. You see what's going on around here? The vermin are taking over. They got no respect for the old neighborhood. <laughs> Nothing would give me greater pleasure than to put a cap in their jive asses. The way Vinny the Saint would have done it. The way Vito the Chicken Man would have done it. The way Bruno, also the Chicken Mr. Man, would have done it. Yeah. Have you listened to one of my new songs? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Friggin' thank. I can't go anywhere in this town without somebody asking me to do them a favor. One guy wants tickets to the David Letterman show. Another guy wants to know if I can get his kid a job on the Jay Leno show. And because I'm the only person in town who's come within a stone's throw of fame, Everybody's hitting on me. Hi, Pippa. Yeah, it's Joe. Um, I was just wondering about getting paid for that, um, you know, that story I wrote. So what you're saying is you don't like it. I, I wouldn't say that. Well, yeah, but it's been three years. You know, I'm not pressuring you. I could send you a check in the morning. You better. No, I don't have an attitude. No, I, I, I just. Okay, okay, yeah, I see your point. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Goodbye. My problem is I've always been such a wuss. If the editor of a female magazine like that tried to stiff Vinny the Saint for three large, he would ba-boom downtown and kneecap that bitch. I need to figure out a way to meet some mobsters, but that means that first I have to figure out a way to meet some Italians. I don't know any Italians. Where am I going to meet any Italians? I could try Tony's Pizzeria. I could try Sal's Lounge. I know a couple of nuns. Maybe Pavarotti knows somebody. Maybe I know somebody in the cheese industry. Hey, are you guys Italians? I'm Italian-American, my wife here is from Palermo. Hey, that's great, because I've been having some trouble with some slow pairs and people hassling me and stuff, and I was wondering, hey, maybe you know somebody. Like who? You know, like a Vinny the Saint, like a Bruno the Scooch, like a Manny the Horse Dong. Hey, you mean like mobsters? Yeah. You know, you assume because I'm Italian-American and my wife's Italian that in some way or another we have some connection hey, with I, the mob? I, I don't want you to take personal well, offense. What, what are you, Polish, Irish? Irish. Irish. That would be like us asking you to introduce us to a member of the IRA just because you're Irish. How would that make you feel? Hey, if I knew somebody in the IRA, I wouldn't need an introduction to the Cosa Nostra, would oh, I? God, Jesus Christ, this guy's busting my balls. Oh, I'm so sorry. Today, I think the Italians are, uh, are passe. Passe in the sense of the kinds of crimes that they have traditionally been involved in gambling, drugs, prostitution, and so on. These, these are no longer where the money is in terms of linking up with a really sophisticated organized criminal operation. Uh, there have been a number of uh, major uh, prosecutions of the Italian organized crime families, very successful. Uh, they've uh, made good use of the Racketeer Influence Corrupt Organizations Act to uh, bring down a lot of the top people basically take down entire groups, entire families. Let's see, how to paint like David Hockney, the art of female cigar smoking. Ooh, this looks good. How to be a mobster in eight weeks. How to clip a button man. What's the thing? 20 foolproof ways to triple the juice. Taught by a professional mobster who took early retirement. This looks promising. Technically, there are only two things you need to know to become a successful mobster. One, you must always threaten to double the vig. Two, you must always promise the capo de tutti capi that when you get a piece of the action, you will triple the juice. Can I ask you a question? 
What's the juice? I've been hearing this expression my entire life. It's like crenellated or detritus, but I never knew what it meant. What's the juice? Forget about it. You don't need to know what the friggin' juice is. All you need to know is that you gotta triple it. And I presume that that would also hold true for the friggin' Vig. Yes, this also holds true for the friggin' Vig, my little cupcake. You double the Vig, you triple the juice. It's a beautiful thing. Now, when you clip a guy, you gotta do this work. Now, when you are a made guy and you are asked to do this work, you must do this work. Otherwise, you are considered a filio disgraziato. What is a filio disgraziato? Something you don't ever want to be. Capisce? You know, I'm not getting any of this. Can we just engage in some mindless violence? I, I want to explore my inner rage. Okay, Blue Eyes. In the early days, the mob started out very low profile. They didn't want public uh, uh, opinion against them. They wanted to basically integrate into the community. Uh, over the years, what's happened is we've seen somewhat of a breakdown, particularly amongst the younger mobsters who want to be flash. They want to wear uh, Armani suits. They want to drive Mercedes. Okay, class, gather around. It's lesson time. Now look. When you deliver a dead fish in a newspaper to an enemy's doorstep, what you were literally saying is, tonight you sleep with the fishes. But you must be very careful on what newspaper you choose. Now look at this, USA Today. Come on, it's way too peppy, huh? Stick with your local tabloids. It's nice when the ink runs off on the halibut. Makes for a nice effect. And stay away from your faggy newspapers, huh? What's this? Oh my God, look at this. Oh, my God! You know, when Salvatore Iris Joey Pignatelli delivered a salmon in a copy of the Financial Times, the five families had to call a special war council just to decipher what the symbolism was. Come on, will you wake up? Come on, smell the roses, ah! Huh? Ma Patois is sprinkled with a number of expressions that have no real meaning, but are used as punctuational points. Not unlike the French, a bien, the Spanish valet, and the American, what the fuck? These words are Madonna, which literally means Madonna, and Marron, which literally means holy shit. Madonna. Marron. And let's give it up for our prize pupil, Joey. Hey. Hey. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, what's a made guy like you doing in a dump like this? Oh, terrible arthritis, colitis. And as you know, the Cosa Nostra, they don't have no benefit program. No pension, no nothing. So I decided for an early retirement. They forget about it. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. I saw you on that Letterman show. Hey, you're a funny guy, huh? <laughs> now, I'm wondering if you could work out some tickets for me so I could see the show. Well, I'm wondering if you can uh, set up a meeting with one of the five families. With all due respect, you're getting on in years, and uh, I don't find you a very intimidating figure. With all due respect. Hey, with all due respect, I think I could get you four backstage passes to see David Letterman. Gee, I think I know a guy. Hey, hey. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Look, you gotta be a vicious son of a bitch if you wanna be in the mob. He's not going to make it in a mob. He can't break somebody's arm. If he can't break anybody's arm, he can't even think of being in a mob. You know what? I want to meet this guy. I want to meet this jerk off. He just don't got it. Padrone, I come to you today because I... Here I am at last, walking the walk, just like Al Pacino and Donnie Brasco, looking so cool and feeling so mean. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A made guy always carries his money in a roll. A fanooch, meilleur pagare. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's this about? He wants to talk to you. Hey, what? Relax. I'm in Senfa. Who can refuse? Don off the bell. These guys want to live now, 
They want to have it all. They want to have cars. They want to have money. They want to have women. They want to have clothes, etc. Uh, and they want to have ways. That, they want to find the easiest ways that they can accomplish that, separate and apart from the issue of a legitimate job. And, as a, and, and in particular, the, the, the organized kinds of crimes, white collar kinds of crimes, and corruption attract people with that kind of mentality. Come here. Come here. Very impressive resume. Very impressive. But as you probably know, our organization is not hiring at the present moment. Okay? We tend to promote from within. But it was my understanding that the mob was the, the what? You know, the Cosa Nostra, Mano Nero, the Black Hand, our thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. As far as I'm concerned, those are all mythological criminal fraternities, okay? Forgive me, Godfather, but... I am not your Godfather. Still, it's my understanding that your association is having trouble attracting new recruits that some of the young guys, they don't show the proper respect. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the concept of silencia, omerta, lupari. And what are these again? You know, omerta, the Sicilian code of honor, the philosophical linchpin of our thing. See, let me tell you something. I don't speak a word of Italian, okay? You know what my real name is? No. Do you know what my real name is? I don't know. Ladislaw Dombrowski. I had to change it because you can't become a made guy if you were Polak. Forget about it. So what you're telling me that is my awareness of the knowledge of Omerta Silencia Lupare, coupled with my recognition of the distinction between the consigliere and the vindictatore, counts for nothing? That's exactly what I'm telling you, huh? Now look, you got all the qualifications, okay? You need experience. You need experience. Now look at me. You go out there, and you prove it. Maybe this Pacino routine's a mistake. I could have sworn if I hung around Brooklyn long enough, somebody like Bobby De Niro or Joe Pesci would have scooped me up into a life of respect. Time for a quick rethink.